Hey buddy, it's Invicta. It's time to you can run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. Hope you all had a fantastic start to your weekend. Ready to hop into this run here. Again, the next couple of videos are going to be a little bit shorter in length because I have some stuff coming up that is going to prevent me from recording for the next couple of days. So thank you all very much for the patience and all the support. I appreciate it. Here's today's meme of the day brought to you by Aragos. Title of thread was Welcome to Isaac's Bar, where we welcome all bad items. <laughs> I'm the most Invicta Luck item. No, I'm the real Invicta Luck item. <sighs> Amateurs. What was that, punk? Amateurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you very much, Arigas. And everyone who upvoted that one, the memes of the day have been just A, A, triple A, S tier plus lately. Oh my goodness, that's a, that's a first star, first floor, first room, starting room planetarium. He is going to be uh, Hotel Lima Mike Golf 3. Hey, uh, hey uh, we got some real, real, real bad damage. Well, tears rate anyway, but at least we have guillotine. Um, wow. 1.93. As if our tears rate yesterday wasn't bad enough. Today, we have even less of a tears rate. But, I mean, I guess I should feel a little bit better about ourselves considering the fact that, like, you know, at least we're not bound by a uh, like low damage and low tiers. Like that's the forget. Oh yeah, we have a key. Um, that's the forgiveness factor we have with guillotine here is that at least we can get a little bit of help from damage from a damage standpoint if we end up getting just absolute bupkis from a uh, from the boss rooms and stuff. Of course, yesterday's episode was a lot of fun with the poison god combo with Ares and Serpent's Kiss. Honestly. That run, I could not believe how good Ares was. Like, I legit straight up am still surprised by how incredible that combo is. And I hope that we get something like that again, because that was really, really fun. And uh, hopefully you all joined, enjoyed it as well. Yeah, seeing here us using Guillotine to uh, just basically polish off the enemies. We still need a little bit of help. I mean, I guess we did get a key. There's no reason not to go into the, into the uh, Planetarium. What we really want here is something like... Something like, not Pluto, but um, Mercurius would be great. Jupiter honestly wouldn't be too bad here. And uh, Venus is also good. Soul is, eh. I mean, Soul, no. It, no, no. I know that it removes curses, but Venus gives us more of an immediate upgrade, right? Yes, Soul will give us, will show us the, the location of the boss. And remove curses, but you know what else move cur removes curses? Black freaking candle. And if I have to use all of our HP to get it, I'm gonna. That's even better. That's beautiful. It's gonna do that right now. That's the great thing about Venus is that obviously you get the front facing charm. Very good for clearing out some early game. We, we actually shouldn't get... Uh, we shouldn't pick up Black Cannon right now because we want to make sure that we have the uh, full Soul Heart going to the next floor. Now, unlike yesterday, hopefully today we are going to be able to actually get a Devil Deal. Um, I was uh, I was taken back by the fact that I said yesterday that, yeah, you know, like we're, we got a pretty good chance of getting Guppy. We're going to give ourselves extra Devil Dew items. Yeah, the game, the game definitely hurt us there. Another HP upgrade, so no stat ups at all. Um, we could make a little bit more money here on the taps on the Temperance Machine. Go into the obvious secret room here. You see the arrow pointing over to this wall. We can buy that two cent heart and then buy Black Candida, which I think is a is a good idea. We can get a few extra taps off the Temperance Machine and really, really push how much money we can get. Going into the next floor, we can get some premium items. That'd be nice. We don't want to go too crazy now on our HP. I'm willing to go down to one red heart, and that's it. Hopefully, we get a blood bag because our movement speed is also doo-doo, but we did not. So it's a it's an interesting start. Okay, so we don't have to worry about Curse the XL. Um, uh, what is nice about this is that we do have Venus, but Venus does not give you any kind of immunity 
from charmed uh, charmed enemies. It can only it only charms them, and that is it. But you just saw it here, right here. We cleared a room without hitting anything with our tears. So, yeah, it's Venus is real, real strong, and that's the immediate advantage that I was talking about versus Soul, which yes does give us technically more stats than Venus does. But you got to remember, Venus is also an HP upgrade, which we can immediately turn into a Devil Deal uh, item. This is this is horrible. You know what? I'm gonna let the they're very used. Very rarely used remote turret aspect of uh, guillotine. I'm uh, not guillotine, but uh, decap. So we need to get movement speed. There's, there's there's a lot of needs on this. We need movement speed. We need tiers. We need keys. We need everything. Nice little shot there by that diglet. get a key as much as I want to go into the shop first we need to go into the item room here I now a little bit behind the curtains here I am recording this after yesterday's episode but I have reset the uh I have not reset but I've closed down the game since recording the last episode so I mean there's no way that it should retain it in the in the game's memory but you know what i'm here for the problem now is that i don't think we're going to be able to get to the speed that we need for the aries uh for the aries shield or you know feature or whatever you want to call it the power to, to unlock the secret power i don't i don't think we're going to get there yet one thing we do need to get into is definitely the shop which luckily we got a key here obviously we want to get this tenant rock Yeah, it's been it's been quite a little bit of time since the last episode was recorded and uh the game has been turned off since then after i recorded that episode i got some some stuff done around the house ate dinner all kinds of good stuff we get a half price key here definitely want that soul heart we don't care about box of friends um i mean the 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 extra damage that we get with decap it's it's too good not to have because in a, in a situation where we're at right now yes we do have Aries obviously but we don't have the movement speed to really take advantage of that so I'm not going to pursue replacing something that we're getting more of a benefit from right now for something that doesn't give us any any sort of help it is wild that we got Aries again though and I'm I, honestly I'm down for it I mean hey if you want to give me the same combo we had yesterday game by all means I am I am here for it that's a little stuff there by guillotine you see what I'm talking about here like we're not using our tears at all I'm more kind of kind of played himself there we get another hp upgrade so we really need to get a devil deal here that's good and we don't it's can be conception which is it's not bad but it's it's definitely not what we need right now we need all kinds of help here Cami Conception will spawn a Devil Deal familiar. Um, I believe it's all. It always starts with Demon Baby and then goes just goes up from there. Um, sometimes you can get sometimes you can get Incubus first. Sometimes you get Debizzle first. But again, it doesn't really it doesn't address the the issue that we have right now, which is going to be lack of damage, lack of everything. We got HP and that's about it. We got Aquarius because, I mean, again, you talk about secondary sources of damage here. And Aquarius does kind of have this weird little synergy, I will say, with uh, Ares. In that if we end up getting enough momentum, enough movement speed to do stuff, theoretically, we could run in and leave a trail of damage behind us. And that should be enough to kill everything because Aquarius does deal a good amount of damage. Venus doing work here as well. 
And again, this is this is two runs in a row where we've had a very interesting set of circumstances. Wow, I can't believe we get hit there. A very interesting set of circumstances um, where we're using unorthodox unorthodox means of, of causing damage because our base stats are just so bad. So it's inter it, it really is kind of interesting how this is working out for us here. I'm going to let them just kind of run into each other. Solve the problem ourselves. Or themselves, I should say. This tier, this tier's rate is just wow, wow bad. Plopia. I mean, we can take the Plopia. I'm hoping that we get a W here so we can just immediately use it. And I'm not debated into using... Into trying to like make the Plopia work, and then we hold on to it for too long, because it's about to get real rough out here without us having the ability to use decap attack. We have to kind of we have to kind of hope that Ares, not Ares, but uh, Aquarius, is up for the task here. And yeah, with this with this tears rate, this abysmal tears rate, the longer we're inside of fights, the and there's just you give the game enough chances, you're going to lose. The higher... The, the chance of you taking damage increases exponentially with every second that you spend inside of a room. You have to get out of the rooms as fast as possible. We really, really got lucky that we got a devil deal here. And it's a... I mean, it's a takeable one. Uh, it's something that I'm immediately going to use. I'm not going to... I'm not going to use... I'm not, not going to use Diplopia here. Also, not taking Pound of Flesh because it's just, just bad. Um, yeah, so we take Sin Robes here. We get double up on the Soul Hearts. We get double up on the damage upgrade, basically. Come back here. We grab Decap. I can't believe that the Secret Room wasn't there. So we can go get that Golden Chest if needed. Obviously, we have this Queen of Hearts. Uh, I wish I would have seen that before we went into the Devil DU. Okay, so we are going to have to leave Decap behind because there's no justifiable universe where we take Decap over something like Flip on a run like this. We we essentially we have to create opportunities for us to thrive here, and that will come in the form of us getting more items for our time and effort. That's exactly what we need. So it's gonna be rough. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's gonna be a it's it's gonna be rough out here, Sarge. But I think that this gives us the best possible chance of winning this run. So we'll go check out the curse room here. I mean, it's not going to last very long, but we can try. Well, no, we can't even. The Queen of Hearts is only is only good for us if, if and only if we find a sack room. So I guess we can hold on to the soul of Azazel here. I see what you're doing here, game. Very cute. Honestly, I'm fine with that. It it may have been a little bit of a waste there, but <clears throat> filigree feather is interesting. But again, we have to find a sack room. And swallow penny going ham here. Wow, another nickel. Another nickel, dude. Our our. Our luck is, I mean, our luck ain't crazy good. It's positive, I guess, is the best way to describe it. But man, that's like insane. I mean, you see here the instant activation that we're getting from Venus. Venus will essentially always put the charm buff or debuff, depending on what you want to want to call it or look at it as, um, on a target that's facing Isaac. 
They're charmed by his beauty. And it really exemplifies how good charm can be, especially on runs like this where it's just doo-doo stats all the way. I mean, our damage is respectable now. I think, ironically, our damage is actually a little bit higher than what we ended with uh, on yesterday's episode, I think. I don't, I don't honestly remember. It's been a few hours since I recorded that. Um, but, yeah. Whenever, whenever we get this opportunity to, to shine, Venus always steps it up. Really would love to get a key so we can go into the shop, especially with the full charge on flip. We still have not found our item room yet, which, by the way, is going to be hugely, hugely important with us having the other item that I have not even talked about yet that we started with, which is going to be more options. Options is going to allow us to gain a second guaranteed item item pedestal anyway, inside of our item room. Now, because we have flip, that equates to roughly two extra items per floor, which means that we essentially have four items to choose from on every floor, and that's massive. And that's the kind of opportunity that you have to kind of create for yourself in these situations where the game is not going to give you anything but another HP upgrade. So you see what we're, what we're going up against here. All right, so looking looking for a key here, in our item room. Incredible. Gonna go get the hearts card from the curse room. Gonna need the money. Really, really, really wanted to use this for a uh, for a sack room, but this is this is what the game has has done. We've been forced into this position here. Secret room is not there, unfortunately. So all we need, really, we really, 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 really need blood bag to drop here. It's lovely. I love to see it. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now we have some movement speed. Now we can start getting a little bit of momentum going for Ares. We're risking letting the game screw us here with the boss fight. And, of course, it did. Now we're back to needing a key. Dig a demon baby from the... I think that came from the, uh, the temperance machine. Old Zinvicta luck. Good old Zinvicta luck. Now we're going to have to unfortunately go over the spikes just to see if we can get a key out of this. And we didn't. So now we're forced to play the demon beggar and the slot machine in hopes that we get a key. Because right now we're sitting at zero value from from flip and that, that cannot... That cannot last. Simply cannot be sustainable. Okay, we get our key. It's a very funny game. I mean, it hurts. This is this is a tears up, and this is also a tears up. Again, there's no universe that exists where it makes sense to take Lost Soul Buddy. We can see what we can also get. I mean, we might as well get paid out. Again, we're not going to make Boss Rush here. Our tears rate is only 4.45 after, what, four taps with, uh, with the needle. It's, just, it's shockingly bad. Now, we did proc little Brimmy here thanks to Cambian Conception, which is real good. And that's another reason why I'm doing this. Normally, you see me just breeze right on by these demon uh, Montes and stuff. But it makes sense for us to try to get as much damage as possible. Get Guppy's tail. I'm going to just take it at this point. I know that we were already having key problems, but here's the hoping that we... 
Here's the hoping that we gain enough keys. Oh, baby. Now, now we're really cooking with Ares here. Seventy five percent chance for a devil deal. Now, unlike yesterday, obviously we don't have Serpent's Kiss, but you're seeing what I was talking about with Aquarius here, where we're able to drop down a slowing field, not slowing field, but a, a damage field of, of a creep. That's going to allow us to essentially, essentially always make sure that even if we get hit or we get rung up from our, our momentum slowing from Ares, we're still going to get damaged no matter what we run into, right? I mean, this feels like deja vu. It really does. I think the secret might be here, but it's hard to tell. Yeah, I needed. I should have looked at this room here. No, I would have absolutely thought it was there. Now, there's another layer to this strategy because of the fact we have Venus. Venus is also going to be actively charging. Uh, or uh, not charging, but it's going to be actively charming enemies around us so we are always always going to be able to inflict some kind of damage no matter what we do if we go for the Ares play which we're still dealing more damage with Ares than anything else that one didn't work out so well and also 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 on another layer we also want we want D Bizzle to come out here There's no, we, we do not need to be running into Monstro. That's not a good idea. And yeah, look at that. Nice damage there from Aquarius. Again, another tier is up here. Absolutely take it. We don't care about Navi, so I'm not going to use Flip in lieu of us getting to the shop here, or better yet, going into a black market. We have 99 cents. There's no excuse for us not to play this judgment. Hopefully he gives us... I mean, it doesn't matter what he gives us. Yeah, sure. We have plenty of money, so restock is fine. <laughs> you can't... You can't cut... You cannot cut corners like that, Isaac. Not if you want areas to stay active. Now that was just that was just a satisfying as all hell room. No. Okay, so we've got got champion belt here. Might as well take the five bombs. Okay. Notch stacks. I'll just pick up solely just to see what item is behind it. And it's a nine volt. Eh. That's what we want right there. There's options, gives us another means of, uh, another means of, of acquiring extra items that are gonna help us. We'd we'll love to see some, just a key in there. We have to hope that there's a key in the last shop on this run. Uh, I mean, we might be able to take the crown of the, the Holy Crown is good for us if we're going to play a Sacrum on this floor, and that's about it. So we can... Well, no. I, I, I switched that up. The Swallowed Penny is only good for this floor, and that's about it, if we're going to play the Sacrum. We can take the Holy Crown to give us another two items. If Assuming that we don't get rid of Flip, then it's going to be four items to flip through and prove this run. Very happy to have a little Brimmy here to give us some extra little long range sniper action. It really doesn't take a whole lot to get at speed for, for Ares.
can't run into shots, though. So, again, another tiers upgrade. No way that we don't take that. Um, but we did not get a devil deal, which is... <laughs> That is the theme for the last couple of days here. The tears rate. Wow, man. After all those tears rate, it's still only 3.77. That's how bad our base tears rate was. That is, that is truly horrific. Now we have another option here. That is to go straight to the lamb. As suicidal as that may seem. I think you got to take Genesis. On a run like this. Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. Honestly, that's that's my fault, but that's also, like, fine. Because we don't know what we're going to get out of Genesis. And this is this is also still, again, it's kind of a very unique way to play, right? I don't mind doing this here because we can get our soul hearts back at least one or two from the shop. So we're not, I mean, we are up against it here, but I'm not worried about it. Especially with all the hearts and stuff on the ground. So, and we have an Emperor card. I'm very curious as to what I'm curious as to what Genesis would have given us though. I'm not spending 13 cents on a soul heart. Miss me with that. Spend one bomb and get one here. Star of Bethlehem is also, of course, amazing for us. Um it's gonna help us immediately kill things faster, which is gonna ultimately keep us safer in this run. It's also going to show us the general direction of the boss, so. Look at that. Look at Aries, or look at the Aquarius move when it has the, the holy homing from uh, Star of Bethlehem. This is not the right way to the boss. Who would have seen the star by now? Should mention that the description of Ares says it prevents contact damage. Does not mean all damage. It means contact damage. Um, we should try to do this for a key. Hopefully we get one. We didn't, but there's a golden bomb. I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen D Bizzle yet with how many hits we've taken. Okay, so we did not find the fool card, so we're going to have to wait for the boss, but at least we know where the boss is. So, let's go back and go find the shop. Probably buy a few keys, because remember, we're going to get an extra shop, extra couple of shops, thanks to us having the Holy Crown. Golden key is nice here, but it's not it's not end all be all. Yeah, there's a half price key, which is great. Um, the rest of the items are not, but we can we can buy a few keys here. We don't need to go broke over a shop that isn't really that great. Didn't actually mean to buy that 13 cent key, but it just kind of happened. Now, one thing I'm seeing here is I don't, I guess they have more HP than 25 because I would have thought that running into that anus monster would have, would have assuredly killed it, but apparently not. There's chocolate milk, chocolate milk for a second time. Um, honestly, I think chocolate milk is good for us here. I know that I've, in the past, I've said that I really don't like the tap firing, but this is a case where our tears rate is so abysmal that it makes sense to have the tap firing. We still never found our fool card, by the way. 
Um, but I also think that the fully charged chocolate milk is going to buff the amount of damage that we get from Aquarius. I think. Now, obviously, the fully charged Star of Bethlehem shots are also going to be massive in terms of damage scaling. Tons of HP here. It's great. Oh, there's D-Bizzle. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a full charge on uh, on Ares. It's actually counterintuitive for us to take D-Bizzle here because we've taken so much damage that he's about to pop no matter what, and we do, we do not want two Dark Bums. So I'm going to go ahead and leave D-Bizzle there. All we gotta do is just follow Star of Bethlehem and it's we're home free. The tears upgrade here, which is great. Now the higher the tears rate, the faster chocolate milk charges. So technically speaking, Star of Bethlehem, you know this is a dead end, right? Gotta go up. It's the only way it could go up. Are you kidding me? Playoffs. Now where are you gonna go? That's a very, very weird route. So we're going to go fight the boss first. And then after that, we're going to go look for the item room in the shop. This floor. Because we have Holy Crown, remember. And look at the homing properties there of Aquarius. It's so good. Got to go down, right? Yeah, yeah. And Venus still doing work here. Our Bethlehem should be racing across the screen right now. I wish I could see how fast Star Bethlehem really moves whenever Isaac gets ahead of him. Ahead of it. Not get a devil deal. I'm just gonna take more some more tears. Okay, so let's go find this item room in the store. I love the fact that Ares just lets you run into things. Except I had no idea that they were dropping creep there, but... Okay, let's not run into things that drop creep. How about that? There's a sack room here, too. I have no clue. Where our item room and shop is. Apparently, we've gone the only possible way that it could not have could not have been. So a sack room here means that if we hap if we happen to find some red hearts in our shop, which eventually we would go past these double Isaac circles to get there. Or no, I'm thinking a cathedral. What am I talking about? I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. Yeah, the Holy Crown gives us a, it gives us a shop and an item room in the in the cathedral, not the womb. Victor, you idiot. Okay, so let's see what this gets us here. Did get Incubus or uh, Succubus, Incubus to drop from Cambian Conception, which is nice, brother. I really, really, really needed a heart out of that. Yeah, so we have a thirty-three percent chance to go into the Angel deal. We much have to do this now, especially with us having a uh, having a golden. Golden key, and we get lots of lots of HP. That's exactly what we needed. I'm gonna leave that soul heart there because I'm probably not gonna need it till after we're done with this play. I also have that half red heart all the way up there, which I'm gonna probably end up taking. Ain't no way that I'm not gonna take the wave on a run like this, brother.
Wafer gives us more money and more uh, spending power for the cathedral shop. Not the womb shop, mind you. Good. Good, 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 good. This was a very, very productive floor despite having the double Isaac circle. Well, it, it's a it's one in one point nine Isaac circle. Um I would say that overall this was a productive floor. Okay, consolation prize as well, which was very, very nice to get. Adding a little bit of extra base damage for us is always good. And on top of that, we also got Incubus. Which is going to help out with our DPS, which is something that we, again, needed really bad. Although I will say now, now I kind of wish I didn't take chocolate milk. We simply just do not need it anymore. But it's still going to be a net positive for our damage. Based on the fact that, you know, we we are still charging the shots pretty pretty highly. And again, if you're talking about talking about the damage that you get from Aquarius, it's significant. So. And the homing too is pretty nice. Rainbow champion. Dead champion. Those are our keys, absolutely, with Guppy's tail. I think we know where we're going, so I'm just not even gonna wait. The hearts, I mean didn't give us much, but just enough for us to heal up back to full, and I'll definitely take that. That is a lot of tears in a hurry. And okay. So we never got to take <laughs> a double devil deal with, uh, with us having <laughs> us having flip, which I find very funny. Up a coal is absolutely huge for us though. Hopefully we find the shop and the item room along the way. Not a dice room here. This might give us a little bit of extra value here. Leave that in case it's a four room. So we don't need to worry about Star of Bethlehem anymore. We know exactly where Isaac is. Yes, we just destroyed that statue for me running into it and then shooting uh, euthanasia shots into it. Oh, That's a lot of damage with chocolate milk. Treasure map. Not willing to do anything else with it let's go find this item room it looks like it's gonna to be to the right of here and we're taking damage not because I'm slowing down with Ares but because we're we're getting hit by projectile wow it's not over here to make us go all the way up there huh Literally the furthest possible we could go away from the boss room. But better be worth it, game. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty worth it. I don't even know what the other item was behind uh, Data Miner. I don't really care. Does quad shot chocolate milk? Yeah. Chocolate milk's back on the menu, boys. So now, now we are no longer affected by the tears down of quad shot i'm going to see what's inside of this inside of this uh dice room because it might be like a four room which it is surprisingly 
unbelievably. And yep. Yeah. Emperor, the the modify or the enhanced emperor card is going to give us a soul heart when we go into the uh, boss room against Wu Baby. I'm down for it. I really am. So, really, honestly, I got to say that, again, with it being weirdly similar to yesterday's run with Ares, other than that, I mean, it was a great run that really started off on the wrong foot with a horrible, horrible tears rate, but got super buff. And I'm honestly really, really happy that we didn't end up using Genesis because Genesis would have ruined what we had here. Not that there's anything wrong with Genesis, obviously. It's just that, like, we wouldn't have nearly the the synergies that we have i'm gonna take i'm gonna take nri i'm not gonna take uh c-section because that actually that actually stops us from firing um from firing manually and goes back to just firing with a really really bad tears rate but we get the extra shots here I don't know where Star of Bethlehem is, but it did have to travel a long way to wait. Long way to get here. Yeah, let's do Delirium. Come on now. Who would have thought that we'd be doing Delirium of all of all bosses on a run like this where again our our stats are are not good. Our stats are really not... This is not a delirium killing build. However, the Star of Bethlehem, all bets are off. All bets are off. I don't know. There's, 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 there's a joke in there somewhere. I don't think this is going to do anything. Oh, it does take us to a boss. So absolutely would take Blood of the Mar. That's a... Pretty significant damage upgrade. Uh, I don't know if Delirium's over here. He is not. Yeah, we're we're crushing this now with chocolate milk. I honestly am shocked that we haven't gotten D Bizzle yet. Um, it's a second Guppy item, but we really don't need it. Give me telekinesis. Flip. I appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you very much for all of the con contributions you made to this team in the off season. And uh, we look forward to seeing what you can do in the future with a different organization. Yeah, Star of Bethlehem always goes to Delirium. So we know that Delirium's down here. What a run. A very, I mean, it's two back-to-back -back fun days of runs. And honestly, that puts me in the mood just to play even more Isaac. So if there was ever a time where I was going to be recording a couple runs at a time, like, this is, this is definitely the golden era right now. I'm loving this. Hopefully you all are as well. If you did, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. Your question of the episode is... Today is going to be... Well, I'll save it for after the delirium. Let's, let's, let's do this. There we go. There we go. Your question of the episode today is going to be, what are your thoughts on chocolate milk? Do you, do, you, do you mind the tap firing? Do you not care? Do you think that people are just being babies about not wanting to manually fire? Post them in the comments down below. I personally don't like to do it because I don't like manually firing, but that's just because it's just kind of my... Not, it's against my style. I like being able to hold down the fire button. So thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Have a great weekend, everyone. As always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Slypork98, Avery, Hunter Douglas, and Seven Fangs. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com. Class Invicta.